Good afternoon, Chamber members. We hope that all of you, your families, and friends are continuing to stay healthy and well. In addition, we hope that your organizations are holding up during this crisis. I'm Mike Payone, the Vice President of Government Affairs here at the Joliet Region Chamber of Commerce. Today will be the second video recap of weekly COVID-19 updates. If you have not already checked out our webpage dedicated to resources during this pandemic, please go to www.jolietchamber.com as our daily updates are archived there, as well as over a dozen documents. This week brought us some positive news as federal stimulus checks began to arrive in bank accounts for those that qualify. If you have questions about your potential check, visit irs.gov as they have some links with frequently asked questions and further information about the stimulus. Also, we have heard feedback from several chamber members that have received funding through the PPP fund. So congratulations to those that made it through the process with one of our local lenders. Unfortunately, on the flip side, as of yesterday, the PPP fund has run dry and the SBA is no longer processing applications from banks. In addition, the SBA EIDL loans have also been paused as the SBA for the moment is not accepting applications online. Stay tuned for further information as both sides in Washington continue to work on a further infusion of funds. Over the last two days, news has broke about the eventual reopening of the economy in phases. We look for more information to come out regarding the exact plans. President Trump released some guidelines recently and Governor Pritzker has Illinois and a seven Midwest state coalition to devise a plan together for reopening. Yesterday, the Workers' Comp Commission in Illinois voted 901 to prove benefits to workers that test positive for the coronavirus without having to prove where they became infected at. We believe the intent on this move is far reaching as it applies to all businesses that were deemed essential by the governor. While we fully support those in healthcare, the police, fire, and all other first responders, to apply this to all businesses without the ability to show that the virus was contracted at the work site is unfair. We are watching a few other bills on the federal level. One of those allows employees that were laid off or furloughed to stay on their employer insurance rather than the traditional COBRA route. The second seeks funding for municipalities under 500,000 people as they have been left out of the recent legislation. And then the third also regards the inclusion of many nonprofits that have also been left out of legislation for funding aid. Finally, we want to share with you a new fund that has been announced by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. You can find full information at savesmallbusiness.com. That's savesmallbusiness.com. To qualify for this fund, you must employ between three and 20 people, be located in an economically vulnerable community, and have been harmed financially by the COVID-19 pandemic. This grant is in the amount of $5,000 and it opens for application 2 p.m. this upcoming Monday, April 20th. Well, that's it for today. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and stay well.